Away from the international scene, and I'd like us to cruise over to us in Gishu, live and uh, where the KMPD officials are poised to critique the COVID-19 response at the county level. And we speak to a man on the ground, Elvis Kosgay. Elvis, uh, good morning. Talk to us about some of the concerns that KMPD officials have. Thank you very much. We're coming to you from St. Luke's Orthopedic here in Eldoret, Wasangishu County, where I will be joined by KMPD officials here in the North Rift region. Just to paint a picture of what has been happening, they have been complaining that the system, health system in Wasangishu County is not working, and they are saying of deplorable infrastructural condition. Maybe if I could be joined by one doctor here. Uh, thank you very much. I understand that we've been here, uh, the KMPD officials in the North Rift region. What is the bone of contention? Uh, thank you so much, Elvis. My name is Dr. Dav Jibimji, the National Research Council for KMPDO and South Rift Bank Secretary. So generally, the healthcare system in the Northeast region and South Rift region has not been working. For example, in Wasigishu County, we have uh, the Department of Health has not been functional. So this has left most of the Wanainchi to really be exposed over this COVID, and there's exactly uh, there's a lot of there's a poor response from the county. As you can see in this particular country of Wasigishu, there's a, an extreme shortage of, of, of workers. Both the healthcare workers mm -hmm. and those who are existing in the Department of Health currently were also recently dismissed by the the CC who is the head of that department. Mm -hmm. So generally last week as we, we when we addressed the media we gave the county government at least 21 days to ensure that the, system, the, the, the health department of Wasgish County works mm -hmm. so that we can have more, uh, more, more healthcare workers uh, engaged into the service. Mm -hmm. So this is actually something that has been, has been extrapolated in the, in the in other region like Laikipia. Mm -hmm. So so far we had uh, we, we saw a report like last week mm -hmm. Over 30 uh, COVID patients are being seen, are seen like here, mm -hmm. and in this particular county, there are no workers. The, 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 the doctors have been out. The county, is, the county is extremely overwhelmed in the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also, is also seen in the case of uh, Kisumu, which uh, just ended the strike. Mm -hmm. So we have come up to, as unions, uh, the union of clinical officers, the union of nurses, mm -hmm. the union of workers' union, mm -hmm. to demand first of all for the removal of the uh, CEC of uh, Wasigisho County, mm -hmm. and secondly, we want uh, uh, like Kipia County and, and Kenyala County to actually put the houses in order. So this can only be done also by uh, uh, formation of the Health Service Commission yes. that the, the unions of, of clinical officers, the union of doctors and the union of nurses have really been fighting for over the period. So we believe that if the BB High uh, bring about the Health Service Commission in it, yes. they are going to have a change in this particular direction. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's also hear from you. Okay, my name is Isaac Talam. I'm the branch secretary, Kenya County Government Workers Union. As the way my colleague has said, actually we are a little bit concerned about Department of Health in Wasengishu County. Yes. We have repeated it once and again, time and again that the department is not leading the health workers into the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, a very good example is that there are so many leadership gaps in our department. It's only one person who has a say in many, many things that are being done in the department. And if you try to give contrary opinion to that, you are really intimidated and uh, to some extent many, many officers have been found to have been transferred to uh, various places, others have been demoted because of trying to agitate that the department needs to do what is right. And we are repeating again and again and we are saying that actually the department is not headed in the right direction. We need teamwork in this department and as we talk right now we've stayed for three years without a chief officer and recently we were blessed at least to have one uh, substantive chief officer mm -hmm. all other people have been acting as we talk right now we don't have directors who are in charge of operations so may, basically meaning that uh, issues to do with operations in our county they are not done in the right way because the substantive chief, uh, uh, office holders are not there Okay, finally, let's hear from you. I understand that as a county and as a country, we are fighting the coronavirus pandemic. Yes. As was in Gishu County. Yes. Are you guys capable? Okay, my name is Denis Cheruyot. I uh, represent the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, was in Gishu branch. Uh, you have asked a question on COVID, uh, Elvis, and we say in was in Gishu County, I don't think, uh, we, we just are uh, at uh, 30% or so. Mm -hmm. Because we don't have an ICU bed in Wasingishu County currently. Mm -hmm. we, the one we, we depend on uh, may be MTR. And we pray that God help us that we don't have patients with the complications of uh, uh, the COVID cases. Yes. Because uh, currently in Wasingishu, we're just doing the isolation well. And we have very asymptomatic patients, which are very stable. Mm -hmm. We've not reached a point where we have a 
crisis of having respiratory distress. Mm -hmm. So for that case, we want to, uh, the county to have the, the ICU bed in place as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the ventilators currently, and we don't have an ICU bed. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Brenda. They now want to ask issue Governor Jackson Mandago to move with speed and intervene this matter. Back to the studio. So much Elvis Coast Gay. He'll be giving us more details once that press conference begins. What the KMPD officials of Singishu County will say during Lao Mashinani with Lofty Matambo. Allow me to say it's the end of KTN News Center. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to the men and women behind the scene who make KTN News Center success, including you, our viewers. My name is Brenda Zeda Radido. I see you tomorrow, same time, same place. God bless. Let's do all we can to flatten the curve of COVID 19 here in the country. God bless. Thank you.